Survey techniques. Grid. When high confidence in the survey is needed, using a grid is the ideal solution. For best results, a two-directional survey should be completed. This will allow for a complete picture of the subsurface and the location of potential targets. Begin by marking out the zero lines of your grid. This can be done with chalk on asphalt or concrete, or marker flags and spray paint on soft, natural surfaces. If you are going to do 3D analysis, accurate alignment is imperative, and a physical alignment grid is mandatory for good results. One of the best ways to trace utilities is by using the pass feature. Pass lets you make multiple images of a subsurface target while saving it to one file. Using pass is as simple as pushing the radar forwards, then backing up while moving over, and pressing a button and repeating. When you move backwards, a cursor will also move backwards. This cursor enables you to pinpoint the position of the target. As you move forward after pressing pass, a new line of data will appear next to the just scan data separated by a dotted line. It doesn't matter where the cursor is sitting in the data, a new line will begin after hitting pass and moving forward. It is important to move the radar into position, then press the pass button once you are ready to move forwards. It is best to prevent any accidental activating of the pass feature as it can cause confusion in data and may require the user to begin again. One question that is asked when using pass is, how much should I move over? If you are surveying a large pipe that travels in a straight line for the majority of its length, you could move the GPR over a few feet or a meter. However, if the target utility is very small in nature, then only moving over a few inches slash centimeters is to be expected. If you're not sure, then a good standard is to move over an amount equal to the width of the antenna. The strength of this technique is comparing multiple passes of a single anomaly increases confidence in your interpretation and allows you to identify most targets by tracing them to where they surface. S-Survey. An S-Survey is a type of survey in a tight S-shaped pattern. An S-Survey does not require the same stop-and-go movements as pass and can be completed in less time and it can cover regular shapes. However, that does not mean one is superior to the other. Every job site is different and may require using different techniques depending on the circumstances of the job. It should be noted that 3D processing of S-Surveys can take tremendous amounts of time and are more difficult to post-process and analyze. Marking targets. When surveying, you'll want to mark potential targets that appear in subsurface data. Moving straight back will move a cursor in the software. The cursor lines up to your position as determined by the unit's encoder. The cursor also lines up with the arrows located on the sides of the cart hoop. Here you can mark the target above the ground. Marking can be done using the radar controller software as well. By double tapping on the screen, you can place colored points in the data that correspond to the most common utility color code. If your unit is GPS integrated, maps can be created by connecting the numerous points that were placed in the survey data. Pass mode is excellent for creating these maps as it allows you to focus in on particular targets. Also, points that are marked on screen can be adjusted using the arrow keys and by right-clicking or holding down on them to adjust their position or other information. General tips. When surveying, it is best to cross the target at a 90-degree angle. Crossing at this angle will create the clearest hyperbola. When trying to locate a target, it can be very helpful to find what clues there are in the landscape. Looking down a sewer grate with a flashlight can tell the general direction of the utility. For this reason, it is strongly advised to do some data interpretation in field while context clues are available. All utilities lead somewhere, as evidenced by this gate sensor. This is the primary method of identifying what your anomalies on your screen are. This fire hydrant is a major clue to the location of a water line. Sometimes it can be closer than you think. When performing a grid survey, a good idea is to do some initial reconnaissance in a utility tracing or pass pattern. Also, S-surveys come out best with very tight collection patterns and they generally require RTK GPS or robotic total station positioning information.